Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel and in this video we are going to take a look at the Android 15 based Lineage OS 22.1 for our Nothing Phone 1. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is official Lineage OS 22.1 based on Android 15 and official means you will get regular OT updates so no worries and we have uh, Android version 15 Lineage OS 22.1 uh, here it says nightly. Nightly means daily builds uh, every night, but this is not a daily build. It's just written like that. It's a monthly build. Uh, sorry, not monthly. It's a weekly build. So on 22nd, uh, I got the first build. I installed it. And then after uh, like uh, this was released on 29th. So on 30th uh, January, I installed this uh, newest build via OTA. So you can do that too. Uh, when the February update comes, you can use that uh, with the February security patch. As you can see right now, we have the 5 January 2025 security patch. So guys, uh, Lineage OS is a very close to stock ROM uh, and close to stock means it's pure USP and has not uh, like, it's clutter free, it has, it does not have a lot of heavy apps and uh, I have flashed uh, the uh, Omni G apps which replaces the Lineage OS basic app. So you can also install this if you love Google find your phone, but if you want the pure ASP feel, you have to install core G apps or mini G apps, uh, whichever will suit. So I recommend you core G apps so that you can get all those uh, Lineage OS or AOSP apps uh, purely. So guys, uh, this is the quick settings bar uh, of the Android 15 as you can see, uh, and it works really great. It's smooth and we have a uh, Wi-Fi toggle, uh, mobile data toggle differently we also have a combined toggle but you can you know change that into the settings the app driver and yes uh, there are like uh, as i said earlier the lineage os apps i have gotten replaced after i installed omni g apps because that was downloaded on my device uh, my pc but yeah you can install core g apps and you will get all the aosp apps uh, to enjoy then this is the launcher and let's check the launcher settings into home settings so this is trebuchet launcher i guess uh, that's what it is called. Yes, it is the Lineage OS launcher and here we have uh, all these options show Google app We also have hidden and protected apps so you you can use your fingerprint or uh, your pattern or uh, Anything which have set a screen lock Then you can hide and protect apps You can set an app lock. So this really great uh, protection features are present in the Lineage OS now guys, let's move into the settings. So moving into the settings, this is the settings UI and 15 settings UI, we get the search bar uh, rounded. Then we have this uh, network and connections, then all the normal uh, device stuff, uh, the core stuff, then your device info, which means the system battery and storage about phone and then security, privacy, location, and all of the stuff, uh, which has been well categorized, but I mean, there must be some colorful icons to let people also identify and it like gets into the eye of the user. So there's some user friendly stuff need to be added into the Android. But yeah, we have got a lot of other custom ROMs that do that. But as Lineage is uh, like totally simple, so it keeps uh, everything simple and neat and monochrome uh, type of the theme uh, in all of the settings. It does not need to be fancy because it is pure stock ROM. Now guys, let's take a look at some of the options which we have in the Lineage OS. So into notifications, you can see notifications, conversations, we also have bubbles, then far read reply control. Uh, you can configure the settings, then sensitive notifications. You can also hide the content. So this is also great. And we have do not disturb flash notifications, uh, hide silent notifications in status bar and allow notification snoozing when you can like you can configure uh, the notification snoozing uh, by app by app when the notification is received into display we have a lock screen and we have a privacy you can also you know when i said uh, you can hide the stuff there then shortcuts you can configure you can keep a lot of shortcuts in left and right position we have dynamic clock we have always on display too and uh, it is just, uh, that's how it works. It's simple. It does not have to be, you know, uh, with a lot of themes and all, a lot of clocks and stuff. But yeah, that's how it is. And a long press on fingerprint sensor to unlock phone, which means you can just uh, long press here. Let me hide the AOD. You can directly long press and, oh, sorry about that. It will unlock the phone. Then we have wake screen for notifications, tap to check phone. Uh, and uh, I recommend you to use that if you, you know, don't want full time AOD. And we also do have double tap to wake, but there's no option. So we have that. Uh, yeah, 
we have colors and you can change your colors to natural boost state saturated i'm going to keep it to a life then we have color contrast and you can also configure that if you have some waving issues also high contrast text then rotation settings and you can also rotate it i guess yeah uh, up to 270 degrees so that's a full rotation done then full screen apps uh, you can use legacy apps but i don't find any apps here maybe some third party apps support it but yeah you can always check that you also have tap to sleep uh, but it does not work on home screen so you have to tap either the status bar or the lock screen to sleep so this is all the display settings now guys let's move into the wallpaper and style and this is the ui as you can see you can change the color and size and these are the colors available you can also change the size to small which i have set right now to show you guys and this is how it looks on the lock screen you can also change uh, into the home screen you can choose colors and it will you know uh, change the accent as you can see this one and also you can use themed icons uh, where the changing colors will be uh, having a good effect on so this is how it will look the themed icons and got to disable that and color contrast that's the same settings which we have seen before and these are the same options which we have seen with the lock screen so we can change font we can also change the icons so these are the icons which like we already checked that and we also have the app shape so you can choose from a variety of shapes here if you want your apps to look like that so if you choose squircle uh, your app will look like that the settings icon now into system we get other options like buttons and you can configure hardware keys and you can see we have also have the power menu and we have advanced restart option to straight away boot into recovery or custom uh, boot, uh, like the bootloader or custom recovery then we have status bar we have quick pull down network traffic monitor clock position style we can also allow to show sec seconds or hide the clock battery status style and these are the basic styles and we also have the brightness slider with auto brightness and then we have gestures into gestures we have uh, the like quick open camera double tap gesture which i don't like then tap to check phone then long press on fingerprint sensor which we have already seen and we also have the press and hold power button and you can configure it for your assistant or your power menu and then you can prevent ringing you have mute and vibrate options too and guys we also do have an ot updater so as you can see this was the previous build a 29 january build which i had downloaded and installed and it is asking me to delete so you can also delete the file and then we have another one i just checked it right now we have got the 5 february build so you can install that one too so yeah just today the build has been launched so you can download and easily install it via ota so guys, the performance of the Lineage 22.1 is really nice. It's smooth, it's stable, everything works fine. You don't have the Nothing OS camera, but in any way possible, you can install that through modules or something like that. You can check the Telegram and all that stuff. But yes, apart from that, everything works fine. And it's, it's totally a great ROM. It's Lineage OS official. It means everything works fine. And if there are bugs, they will get fixed uh, sooner or later. If you face any, you have to just report it down to them in the Lineage OS website. Or you can also report down all the bugs you face in this ROM in the comment section. I will try to help you as far as possible. But uh, yeah, about the battery life. The battery life, I seem it's not that up to mark. I got five hours on my normal usage and it lasted more than a day so that was enough for me but if you're a gamer and you play a lot of games on your nothing phone one then you might have to reach uh, like charge your device at night because it will go through the day it will give you five to six hours of screen on time with gaming and instagram and all your heavy activities your social media browsing but you need to charge it on the night or also it depends on how you use the phone how your battery health is so this is all just my opinion and my experience about this rom so that was for uh, you know my part of the review and if you guys enjoyed this video you have to press the like button if you want to check the installation you can move further with the video or you can press like or dislike and subscribe and go away but yeah you have to install and the installation not like kind of like a totally hard job to do like if you have a nothing phone if you have installed previous versions of custom roms and all that that would be easy so let's straight away move to the installation and for that just power off your device first so that will be easy yeah so guys now let's start with the installation and for the installation you'll require a pc or a laptop because you have to 
install the ROM via fastboot. So first of all you have to connect your device with a cable and you have to turn on USB debugging which you can do it uh, from the uh, developer options. So move into settings, uh, go into about phone, sorry. Here we have the build number, you have to tap this seven times or n number of times then you will receive, you are already a developer. I already have it enabled so it is showing that message. Then go into developer options, you have to turn on uh, USB debugging. And when you connect it to your device and click on ADB device, it will ask for ask to allow your computer. So you have to allow that from your phone. So now you have to open command prompt and you have to move uh, to the folder where you have stored all the files, the lineage OS, your, uh, sorry about that, uh, your G apps, your vendor boot and boot device. So now first of all, you have to boot your device uh, into uh, bootloader mode adb t reboot bootloader and your device will reboot automatically into the fast boot mode as you can see it has booted into the fast boot mode that was quick now first uh, thing you have to do is fast boot slash uh, vendor boot vendor underscore boot then you have to copy this file uh, or uh, just paste it here or if it's not pasting or I don't know you can just input the file name vendor boot dot image and it has started flashing it now after this you have to just copy paste remove the vendor slash you have to flash the boot image yeah you you guys just please type i'm doing this because i'm lazy so fast boot flash boot boot dot image okay after this is done you have to fast boot reboot recovery this is the command to reboot into recovery by a fast boot or else you can use your phone and uh, use this recovery mode and press the power button to boot into the recovery mode and this will boot into lineage os recovery so we have booted into the lineage os recovery now first of all you have to move into factory set format data and format data so guys back up your uh, data before after the format data has been finished you have to go to apply update and apply from adb now you have to move again to the command prompt adb uh, let me just remove this adb side load and you have to copy paste the zip name this is my lineage os and i have uh downloaded the latest zip for you guys and you just have to input that and flash it so let's skip the flashing process so guys now before completing the installation if you get this pop-up to install additional packages you need to click on yes if you want to install g apps or magisk and if you don't want to install any additional zips, you just click no and reboot the device. Now I'm clicking yes because I'm going to show you uh, to install the G apps uh, package. Now guys in the command prompt, it will uh, say adb fail to read command no error. So it means it's not an error. Obviously it says no error or it will say anything uh, about an error or something. It's not an error. So no worries unless the connection is cut off. And uh, as you can see, my device has been rebooted again into recovery. Uh, and you have to apply update again. Apply from ADB. And now you can flash G apps. So I recommend core G apps as I said earlier in the part of the video. ADB side load. Nick G apps. And add dot zip in the end. And this will install uh, G apps. And on your phone, uh, you will get uh, signature verification failed. You have to just click yes. Now, because this is not uh, uh, the G app signature is not verified by Lineage OS, it will uh, ask that uh, uh, pop up. Now, let the G apps finish. And guys, the ROM and G apps have been flashed successfully. Now, you just have to reboot system and your device will boot into Lineage OS. And that was it for the installation. That's how you can enjoy. The latest Lineage OS 22.1 based on Android 15 on your Nothing Phone 1. And if you guys 
like the video, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. Also, you guys can subscribe. You have to press the subscribe button and you can join my channel. You can join my telegram. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. All the links are in the description. So make sure you go through them and all the download links, the guide, or everything is in the description. Also, for any feedback, any comments, you can go to the comment box and input your comments. And that's it. Obviously, you can see Lineage OS has been successfully booted. So, welcome to Lineage OS and goodbye, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.